on the road to pick strawberries. Oh, wow, I just found something new. <laughs> this is something new in your compound and you don't know. No, because wow. I'm still <laughs> you try getting to, get... to know every every single uh, different tree, you know? Yeah, have... sure. I know we have, so I planted an avocado. Wow. And you know everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's so lovely. Sorry, I saw so you excited. from my east side, it's so exciting. So this is Ro, this yeah. is Ayamaro's girlfriend from Hello, Argentina. Everybody. I like the way it's from, but I've watched her from Mexico. When I heard she was coming, I went back mm -hmm. to her videos. Mm -hmm. By the way, as for me, I yeah. saw a comment in Maro's. Yeah. Before you even came, mm -hmm. I saw a comment in Maro's Instagram. I check his Instagram, I check all his. Yeah. So when I saw a comment, I went, when I, the comment under, under you was a lovely comment with a love emoji. Mm -hmm. So I went. So by the time we were seeing you, the girlfriend, mm -hmm. I started connecting the dots. So right. I followed you from Mexico and I realized you're a very beautiful singer. Is singing your passion? Thank First you. of all, before you go to the tree, uh -huh. do you sing as a passion I or you were born a, singing? I, I sing as a passion. Mm -hmm. I started to sing when I was very little, so mm -hmm. I also started to, I started to study music when I was very little and I developed the talent, you yeah, know, since, yeah. I'm, since I'm little. I used to dance and act also. I always loved the stage yeah. and musicals, comedy, all of these things. Mm -hmm. um, I used to do ballet dancer wow. also. You can do ballet. I used to do, do you, it. I, 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 to I used to. I used to. I used to use them. I yes. see your the body. Point, the point. Yeah. Yes. yes. The point shoes. Yes. Um. Sorry, I got lost in yeah, that. Yeah, I used to do ballet. You, yes, it's yes. dancing. It's it's in you. It's like you're born with it. Yes. But where you come from, you study it as a course. Exactly. Yes. You yes. don't sing like you wake up one day and decide, "Ro, oh, I'm going to sing." Uh. So I I think um. You can you can be born with yeah. gifts, yes. but it's important you don't to develop work it out. and to train them. You know, yeah. I I started to have a um, singing a singing coach when I was 11 years old. Yeah, to wow. To develop and to train my voice. You know, singing is singing is like going to the gym. Yeah, you sure. To train. Yeah, the sure. voice is a muscle, um, and it's important to train it to know how to use it because otherwise, if you sing without technique. You can you can ruin your voice. You can lost it. Yeah, you really you touch about voice being a muscle. Uh -huh. So what do you do to maintain your voice? Because like I said, I went and listened, yeah. and you really have got some very good voice control. Uh -huh. How do you go about that? So that's 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 the training. You need to do some uh, harmonies to warm up the voice before singing. Also, a lot of breathing technique. You know, because singing is all about breathing. The voice control is is all about breathing. You yeah, know, yeah. learning how to breathe. We for singing, we use a, a, the, a, a di diaphragm yeah. breathing, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. which is different than the regular ones that we use uh, in, in normal life. Yeah. Actually, the diaphragm breathe is how how babies breathe. Yes. You know that you see the babies it go, as it moves. Uh, yes, yeah. Exactly. And and here um, the bones should expand, and it's a it's a huge technique that you you develop with training and training and training yeah and yeah also like scales to warm up the voice to practice um and that is also in also singing you know, do you have the do's and don'ts is there things that you don't eat because at times i hear you musicians that you don't take sugar you don't take milk is there anything that you avoid for your for your voice no when it comes to when it comes to 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 foods i don't because you know, there's there's also like a, I think I, I need to listen to my body. You know, yes, yes. I'm someone that eats according to my intuition. Yes. You know, if my body is asking me, I don't eat meat, for example, in general. Yeah. Like I, sometimes I do, but morning. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes, you know, sometimes I feel like my body is asking for um, vegetarian meals. You yes. know, for a lot of fruits. And sometimes my body asks me ask me for meat. You know, so yeah. I try to respond. So I don't really do. For sh I don't. I don't drink a lot of alcohol. Yeah. Lately, I haven't been drinking uh, yeah. actually. And I saw you the most showing as a very big bottle of champagne. So what <laughs> yes, do you plan to yes, do with that? Yes, yes, um, I do like it, but I'm like once in moderation, a while. Moderation, yes, moderation. Yes, you talked about sure. intuition. Let me get it. Yeah. When I was watching you and Mara in that forest, guys, yes. the, she like she loves the forest. Yes. When I was watching you and Mara in that forest, I heard you say mm -hmm. that you like connecting with the atmosphere is that yes. the atmosphere or the nature let me call yes. it you like connecting with nature i mean yes, so is it that you're into yoga because i it's like i saw you also up there with a mat yes. trying to yes. do yoga yes 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 how yes. do you is it a is it a love for yoga how did you come about loving yoga uh so the, the thing is like i haven't done yoga for my entire life yeah. but i always been acting of, of my body you know like dancing is a very good 
workout for the body and uh, flexibility is really important for me. Yes. I always stretch my body. Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a key to maintain uh, a good health in your body yeah. if you take care of your flexibility. Um, and also, uh, yeah, I, I think I started to I started to be more involved when it comes to yoga. When I started to, I started to have like a awaken, uh, like a spiritual awakening. Yeah, yeah, that's you know? yeah, sure. And I was and I was doing a lot of activities that would involve like self consciousness, self love, um, also like meditation and. Because I, I used uh, before I didn't like yoga. I thought that it was boring. You yeah. Know? I thought that it was something boring. But when I started to practice, and I started to see that it's actually a, a very, very good and sometimes really hard workouts. You know, it can be super hard. Yeah, sure. Um, I love it. I love it because I actually I really like exercising strong. You know, yeah. to feel myself stronger after the exercise. Yeah. And but it's also it's a beautiful practice because yoga. It, it's all about every single move you connect it with your breath. Yes. So when you are breathing consciously, you're also in the present. You know. Yeah, and sure. When you're present, you're present in the body. You're present in the in the in your breathing, yeah. and it's like it brings even more, even more. It's, it's even like more fruitful. You know the the exercise yeah. when you are really present. So that's why I really like yoga, yeah. especially for stretching. I love stretching. I love. And stretching. your body can explain. <laughs> Let me touch about your podcast. Yeah. You're doing podcast in Espanol, and some podcast, of us cannot yeah. uh, understand it. What do you plan? What do you plan for us? I, I actually I do have the plan very soon to start recording in my English episode. Yes. Um, it was a, it was my idea actually yeah. from the beginning. Like um, like you know, podcast is all about speaking. You know, yeah. speaking um, a full episode of yeah. me speaking. Yes. You know, um. My first challenge was, okay, what is it that I want to do? How is it that I want to communicate with people? What is my message and how do I want to communicate my message? And at the beginning, of course, as a, as a new challenge, uh, because it took me a few months to really um, go for it, you know? I had the idea of a podcast. I was feeling so strong that I wanted to do a podcast, but I was procrastinating about, yeah. you know? Yeah. Finding excuses because of fear, you know? Um, and so the best thing that I found out to finally start to take action finally it was to speak my own language, yeah. my mother language. Yes, yes. That's what I decided to start in Spanish. Yeah. But I also I learned a new whole language, you yeah. know, I'm able to speak two languages because yeah. I'm able to express myself in two languages. And so it was of course on my mind to make it English also. Yeah. So yes, I'm very soon to I have read in my first episode so oh, I wow. all I need to do is go. You see I've done some research on you. I've really looked out for you because I know you have episodes yeah. in Espanol. I try yeah. to listen. It sounds so beautiful because you've got a beautiful voice of course. <laughs> Thank you. And I couldn't get and then I said if I get a chance to see you, I'll yeah. ask you what are you planning for your Kenyan fans? Uh -huh. Because Kenya is home now. Uh -huh. Africa knows yeah. you right now. Yeah. You are sensation. So we Africans would love to see how you connect because yeah. the way I see you sing most of the time, yeah. you are so much into, I don't know, maybe I should demonstrate. Yeah. Let, this is what I'm saying. When she sings, yeah. she ex exuberates that kind of energy that is so good. <laughs> now, yeah. that is in your podcast. Uh -huh. So I think our Kenyan fans would love to have your podcast in English, uh -huh. if you don't mind. Yes. We'll be looking out for your new yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. And uh, the idea of my podcast, you know, is because... Uh, the, actually, the idea of my podcast is a self discoverment yes. you know? It's, it's me on my own journey and discovering new talents in me, you know? I always... I always recognize myself as a singer, yeah, sure. and actually I have a voice that I can use in many different ways, yeah, you know, sure. I can also speak, you know, yeah. I can also speak, and I feel like I have a lot to say also, to share with the world, so yeah. the podcast was like my an idea that was like really strong yeah. in my soul calling, you know, and I, I was like, it come to a day when I, I was like, okay, it's time to do it, I feel ready, and yeah. it's time to do it, I'm going to do it, um, but yeah, actually the, the podcast, my podcast is, the, the name is The Sound of My Voice. Yes. Um, because I, I will talk about many different topics, yes. like my personal experiences in life, traveling stories. Yes. Uh, but I also want to connect, like I have done like 
In, I have already in Spanish, for yeah. example, one of the episodes that is called the power of words, you know, yeah. because this is, I want to, I want to create this connection that how important is our voice in many different levels, yeah. energetically, uh, physically, taking care of our throat, taking care of our voice, wow, you know, that's lovely. Um, looking forward to be yeah. That. Also, uh, being be having the courage to express yourself. You know, there's many there's many cultures yeah. or history or everything where a lot of people went silent. Yeah, you know, sure, sure. and now they have a lot of blockages. You know, in my personal journey, mm -hmm. my career, my singing career, mm -hmm. I had uh, my personal story. I had a moment where I lost my voice and I, wow. I I stopped singing for like three years and it was very emotional connected. So that's also and I heal myself. I healed myself because doctors couldn't help me, so I had to find out a way to heal myself to be able to today be singing again. Yeah. So I feel that that's a very big story that I can share because as I could heal my boys, you know, the human body, we can heal yeah. ourselves. And um, and that's a little bit of what I want to show also to encourage people to express their own voice, to yeah. connect with the truth, not to lie because when yeah. we lie, you know, we are we are... Also blocking yes, this area. I, 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 I like talk, that. I yes, like that. I yes, like that. Yes. I like the way you put it. Mm -hmm. And I also your fiance talks so much about truth. Every time he's doing video here yeah. and telling people speak the truth. Speak the it's truth. It's really like brave. Speak the truth because the truth is, mm -hmm. is very powerful. I always said I always have this uh, saying with myself that I repeat it all the time, the truth holds itself. Yeah. You know? Uh, the lies, you know, the dark the the okay um, the lies, yeah. it, it never lasts, you know, yeah, sure, it always sure. fades away. Yeah, yeah, sure, you, sure. Know, if, you but, contradict yourself but, at some point. Exactly, exactly. But what is true, mm -hmm. what is true, it always, it will remain alive, you know. So, and that's very important because that's our voice. And also uh, our voice as human beings is one of the most powerful tools hey, that we well, have, you know. You're really uh, a good, good, good. <laughs> you're so good in English. Is it? Yeah. English is your second language? It's my second language, yeah. yes. Yeah, you're yes. good in it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You're a journey from Mexico. Uh, you're yeah. from Argentina. I, yeah. I, I like the way you pronounce it. From yeah. Argentina to Mexico. Yeah. What triggered you to leave your family? What courage? Uh, so I always wanted to travel. I always wanted to travel the world. It was a dream for me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go. I was dreaming about going to places very far away from home. Tell uh, me a little bit about your, move, your movement. Because yeah. when someone says to move from home to a different country, yeah. it's really a gamble. Uh -huh. What attracted you to Mexico and not Canada? So, okay, so there were, there were like many factors that um, made me choose Mexico because, so my first, my first, the first time that I traveled, I, I was 23 years old wow. and I left to California in the States, but only for five months, you know, that was a, a huge, huge, huge um, dream come true for me. Um, even before that trip, I, I was, I, I saved money for two years to do that trip, for example. But I always wanted to do it, but I didn't. I, I don't come from a family with a, a lot of money, yeah. so traveling was uh, something that like so expensive, yeah, exactly. so far away from your dreams. You know, like it, it was like a, you're dreaming too much. You know, and for me, it was something that there's not impossible for me. You know, like I know one day I'm gonna do, I'm gonna travel. If I can do it at 10 years old, then I'm gonna do it when I'm 20. You know, and when I can do it myself. And that's exactly what I did. So I traveled. You, you, you decided to move. Yeah, like yes. you're saying. Let's yeah, so I moved the first time only for five months. I did a, um, a work and travel program, which is a, like a university exchange. So I only left for five months to have like a first date, you know, because I was also traveling alone for the first time. Um, but I wanted to have the experience. Because for me, I, my dream wasn't like, oh, I want to travel like two weeks on holidays and come back, you know. I really wanted to travel and keep on moving and get to know the world. Um, it wasn't something like just holidays for me and when it comes to my, my desire of traveling. And so after five months, I come back to Argentina full of desire to live again. <laughs> you know, like, wow, the world is so huge. I want to get to know everything as possible. <laughs> So um, in that moment, I was I was in a relationship, and we tried to we tried to travel together, uh, but it wouldn't happen. Yeah. And then, actually, then then we we could plan it, and we were about to travel, and COVID started. Yeah, sure. So we got locked in Argentina. In Argentina, we had like a seven months uh, lock, you know, yeah, like, yes, uh, like quarantine. We couldn't leave the country or everything. 
and I was so frustrated with that, but I never lose my vision about traveling. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, it's not now, but it, it, it will be in the future. It will happen. Like no one can stop me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really determined with my, with my dreams and my goals. Um, so when things uh, with COVID were like fading away and and the, and the border was open again, I was ready to leave. Um, I was planning myself, even in, in COVID situation, I was planning my trip. Yeah. Like, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm going to be ready. I mean, you're so vexed into just fleeing. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. And uh, so I decided to leave. Um, so I, my, my relationship was, was coming to an end in a moment. So I decided to travel alone once again. And I really wanted to travel alone because I really like it. You know, I feel like when you're alone, you are more open to get to know yeah. more people. Yeah. I really like my independence and to be able to make decisions for myself. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you travel with someone, you can be very lucky if you find a good partner for yeah. traveling, yeah, you know, sure. when you can have similar decisions and everything can flow. But sometimes you want to go there and the other one to go there. You know, I didn't really yeah. want to deal with that, with that. So I wanted my own independence and I was ready to live alone. And I chose Mexico because I always dream about getting to know the Caribbean Ocean. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, I was born in a beach city, but the city, for us, the beach is, is really cold. It's a cold water. We can only go to swim in the summer. The rest of the year is it's super cold. You don't get in. And I love the ocean so much. So I wanted to, and I love hot weather. I love summer, summer weather. So I wanted also to be in a hot weather place. And Mexico, when it comes to Argentinian money and pe Mexican, Mexican peso, yeah. we have peso, Argentinian peso, yeah. Mexican peso. It was like, it was good Same. enough for me to save money yes. and to say, okay, I, I can, this is a good place for me. Yeah. Also, Mexico is a place where Argentinians are very well received also. So I saw it as a very good opportunity and I really wanted to get to know uh, the Caribbean, you know. And so that was like, a, that was like the first choice for yeah. me. Yeah. And I went there as a volunteer in the hostels. Wow. I started to volunteer because I didn't save a lot of money, you know. I kind of did, I kind of planned everything. In three months, I, I get the money for my flight and things like that. It was super fast. Um, but I didn't have a lot of money to, to feel myself like 100% safe, you know. So to feel my, to make myself feel safe, I started uh, to volunteer in a hostel. And I started to volunteer in three different hostels in three different in Cancun, in Tulum, and Holbox. That, that is Mexico, different cities. And as a volunteer, so when you volunteer, you get a bed, a place to sleep, yeah, and, and food. And food. Yeah. In return, I was working just four hours a day, yeah. um, and that really helped me not to spend money, but to have a place to sleep. Yeah. Very safe. Yeah. And it's actually an amazing, an amazing experience because you get to know a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now some of my best friends are, I met them there, yeah, you know, yeah. so that was, that was my case. And yeah, also because of language, you know, even though, even though I, I of course I speak, in, I speak English and I speak Spanish, I know, I know it was a good opportunity, opportunity for me in Mexico, yeah. but I also, I was choosing places in Mexico where I would be able to speak English. So since I'm in Mexico, even in Mexico, everybody speaks um, Spanish as, as native language. I was speaking English every single day also, so I was getting so much better in my English. So, I and you know, I saw a lot of opportunities in Mexico. That's why I chose Mexico, yeah, actually. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And now you're here in Africa. How yeah. do you like it? I love it. I love it. I have heard you say times and again that you love it. Uh huh. You connect so beautifully with the nature here. Uh huh. Yes. What's yes. the biggest, biggest thing? You, I know you love Marwa. That is the biggest. What's the second biggest thing you do love about Africa? The, well, so Africa is actually a dream for me. A dream come true. I always wanted. I always. I always knew that I was coming, you know? Yeah, um, yeah about that, I yeah. heard you say there's yeah. some kind of Africanism in you. It's like you used to feel that you needed to go to Africa. Why is that? Yes, yes, I always, I, I do believe in past lives. I'm very connected with spirituality also. And I always had a strong connection with Egypt yeah. in particular, yeah. you know? I felt like I've lived before there, yeah. you know? I feel like I've been part, I've been there, you know? But somewhere, somewhere in Africa, you know, I, I feel like I've been here before. Um, I feel like I, 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 I could have been a black woman in my past life wow. also, you know, and I'm not lying, it's such, yeah. a, such a strong feeling, I always had it, I always had it, like I get boost, good spunk when I talk about it, so it's really special for me. I always knew that I was about to come, so when I met Marwa, he invited me here, he was like, 
oh my god this it's is about to happen this is about to happen you know yeah. like I, I was never expected Kenya I was never expecting with a partner you know I, I didn't know how it was gonna happen but I was so sure that it was gonna happen you know I saw in what it's called Puerto Escondido what Puerto is that Escondido the, uh, that I can't pronounce yeah I, I saw that video and I mean it was such a nice video <laughs> and then some few months later like four months later yeah boom yeah here I am Maro yeah mm. Raw. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, wow. Yeah. Traveling is such a nice thing. You yeah. can meet your destiny partner in traveling. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. What? Yes, what yes, really? Yes. The connection. I saw you. Yeah. You visited several places. You see, I followed. Yeah. I really followed. Yeah. After the comments, I really followed. Uh -huh. So I, I just thought to myself, would you have wanted to marry a black man? You know, actually, that's another feeling. You know, sometimes I feel like I know my future. You know, <laughs> like uh, this intuition. I'm, I'm, I'm a woman that I like to be very connected with my intuition. Yes. The fact that I'm barefoot yeah, right yeah. now is because actually I was to ask you about that. Mother, Mother Nature helps you to awaken all of these gifts that we have. We all have these gifts. We all have intuition. Yeah, something you know? we should let people know because not yeah. many people right now even mm -hmm. ask her. People never. Step down nowadays. I don't no, know. No, because you know, in the in the in the modern world, it's like, oh, you are poor, or are you crazy? Yeah, what are you there yes, for? Yes, you yes, know, in yes. the in the cities, you never see these things. Yeah. But it's a it's a it's a really beautiful feeling. It also it helps you to drain. We are Mother Nature yes. itself. Also, we are part of it. Um, we are made of energy and electricity. So, if you are surrounded with a lot of people, for example, you know. All the time, everybody has a story. Everybody has yes. their own energy. Maybe you you have a really good mood today, yes. but maybe she is super mad because she had a story. Well, all of that energy, you yeah. know, is yeah. contagious for everybody. Yeah. When you laugh, we all laugh. When we cry, maybe we all get emotional. Yeah, it's, sure. We are all connected. Sure. So Mother Nature's grounding yeah. uh, help us to to clean, you know, our energetic field and our energetic field okay. to to be our sustenance center, you know. Yeah. Maybe you can be have, having a really hard time, hard moment, but if I am my center, I can help you without me getting getting uh, getting your energy. That you know what I mean? New, guys. <laughs> that, that is something new. I'm definitely yeah. gonna be staying without shoes yeah. when I go back. Yes, yeah, because yeah. I had to talk about it anyway, and I said when I get a chance, I'll ask you. Uh -huh. So now I understand the, the, yeah. you know, the, the secret behind it. Yes. And it's, I think yeah. it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. Yes, no. yes. And even more here, you know, like uh, the the people living here in the villa, uh, also Mother Africa is the land, you know, where everything was born. Yeah. And I, I, I'm pretty sure when I, um, I'm going to go and travel and see more more of the Africa, I'm pretty sure that in the village people still barefoot, yeah, yeah, sure. you know? in the village, That's the people. nature. Yeah. That's the nature. Maybe like, you were in Nairobi the other day. Maybe in Nairobi it's a little bit hectic because you're yeah. stepping on, on, on stone always. Yeah, yeah. You're like, you know, ground to connect with. Yes. But basically yeah. we will look for a place to go. And uh, <laughs> Nairobi people, you better listen to this. Don't always... <laughs> Even I saw a doctor in uh, Louis Island who is uh, uh, tr uh, taking care of his patients, but uh -huh. most of the time uh -huh. they are stepping down, it says it's a therapy. Uh -huh. And I got interested, so when I heard you talk about it, I think it's something we should preach about. Uh -huh. What do you think? Yes, People should yes. really take time to connect with Mother Nature. Absolutely. And especially if you find yourself in such, such a particular place. <laughs> Priska is putting it on practice also. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my, bring my, it on my practice, gum boot, My gum boots are, are too... I don't know how to remove my gum boots, but I'll try next time. Mm -hmm. I'll try next time to, to, yes, to yes, do that. Yes. And you know, sometimes people tell us, uh, oh, you don't get hurt, be careful, what are you doing? Maybe you step into something, but you know, being barefoot, brings you to present yeah. so when I'm walking barefoot I'm not running and you know thinking about 100 things at the same time I'm present in every single step that I do so nothing's gonna happen yeah nothing know? is gonna happen because I'm also, I'm also I'm also watching I'm you know I'm present I'm in present every time that I'm stepping so it's all about that you know oh, that's <laughs> yeah so Ro, yeah what do you like what what meal so far because I've listened to you every morning when you're taking fruits and maybe lunchtime, yeah. and you say that you're, you're a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. You you eat meat once in a while. Yes. What have you loved so much? Mm -hmm. There's some food you prepared last, the other day for Maro, Argentinian food. And yeah. You said that you should wake him up with that food. I don't know if that's <laughs> how that has gone, but uh, yeah. what do you love? What food yeah. do you love? Uh, African, African. I really like the. I really like the. 
Skuma Wiki, uh, Ugali, I really, I, I think Ugali is really, really good. Especially, you know, sometimes I like food because of the benefits, you know, more than, more than maybe how it's prepared or something. Because for, I think, in my personal uh, opinion, our food in Argentina has a lot of spices, you know, oh, yeah. and things like that. Here I've noticed that more, most of the food is like more plain, you know. And Ugali is so simple to do, yeah. so simple, five minutes and yeah, you do it. Food. But it's, it's, it's so, it's actually, it's, uh, has a lot of benefits, a lot of energy, you know, and it's a really, really good food. And it's super easy, it doesn't take you uh, hours to do it. So that's, that's the fact that I like Ugali so much, combined with other foods. Yeah. Like, I really like Daga, which is fish, you know, but yeah. I like it. Um, Machoke, hey, I like that wow, also. That's lovely. Yes, yes, so that's, it's, that's lovely. Yeah, that's very fun. Your music career in, in Kenya now, because when I when I went back and watched the videos when you were coming, I don't think you're, you're going to travel, but you'll be coming to Africa. So you're singing. Are you? What are you? How are you going to balance your, your singing? Am I, it's on the go uh -huh. as you travel. Uh -huh. Well, so I was in a moment of my career in Mexico where I was like, I was singing almost every yeah, day, every you know, okay. and I was so happy for sure. I was having a beautiful band, incredible musicians. I was really happy about it, but I was also feeling that I was ready for something new, you know. In terms of my music, I was also kind of needing a break. Like, I, I wanted to rest, you know, singing every day for the throw, you know. You get tired, of course, as, as every every physical um, activity. Um, so I was feeling like I needed a break. So for me, right now, it's my break. I'm yeah, taking sure. a break for, for singing so much all of the time. But I'm, I'm very much... I'm very much um, focus on the creative side because yeah, sure. I had my songs already and I want to produce them oh, yeah, so sure. I feel like I want to be more in, in you know studio time yeah. rather than just playing live yeah, for sure, people sure. and working you know I feel I can be more creative in at this time yeah. so that's what I want to do now. okay we hope to have you around and maybe you can collaborate with some of our singers do you listen to any African musicians uh, so I listen to a lot of Afrobeats, so I know like the most popular ones and things like that, but but now I'm getting to know more like the, the African African, you know. Okay, we hope to have you around for a long for, for a long, 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 long time. You exude that positive vibe. Mm -hmm. I was telling people the other day that anything negativity, everyone should shun it. We were talking with them in the morning. Yeah. And I've watched you since you came. And I, there's so much positive vibe around you. Uh, so I, I hope we're going, to, we're going to see you for quite a long time. You know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I hope, I hope. You know, I think we are, we attract what we are. Yeah. So that's 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 really important for me. That's that's is that way is so important for me. You know, to be in this state, yeah. to to meditate for me is a is a is a practice that I like to maintain because my energy is what I'm going to show to everybody. Uh, everybody will be able to read my energy. So I, I want to be clean, I want to be happy, I want to be in my mood, you know. This is me, this is me. I'm someone very easy going. I always have, I'm always laughing, I'm always have a, I'm, I'm pretty much in a very good mood all the time. So if, if, if I am being myself, that's what I'm gonna attract, you know. So, so yeah, that's, that's the idea. And before I, 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 I let yeah. Rob, we were going to. Yeah, these fruits. Come. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, we found out we have some fruits. Please let me see. Okay, between me and you, it's so I thought I was so tall. Yeah, I want to see. Actually, I think... Rose just discovered. Let yeah. me let me pull it for you. Yeah, she just discovered. Just pull a leaf. I yes, I you think... pull a leaf and yeah, take yeah. this one, Rose. Yes, look at that. Let me show you. She just discovered fruits here. Yeah. Man. This is where she'll be coming every morning. Mm. Yeah. Let me take some two or three for mm. you. Thank you. This is guys, we are we are connecting with Mother Nature. This is super expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is dinginess. This one, you mm -hmm. see, no chemicals, nothing. Mm -hmm. No. I love it. So this is also like a trim, you know, to have your fruit. own fruit, your own food in your in your home. And your fiance is also good at that. He wants mm -hmm. trees all over. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat. He's a tree lover like yeah, me. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Beautiful. So guys, I present you the amazing role. <laughs> she has a, she's a musician. 
Rockabrera Travels. Yeah. She does podcasts. I know if you guys, some of you may not know that she's a very good podcaster. <laughs> but she promised me she's going to translate for us one or two in English because it's in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. I listed it in Spanish. I don't know Spanish, but the sound of her voice is beautiful. So you can connect with what she's saying, though you don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So check my, my my subscribers you can check her i know she she's known right now i don't need you to tell you to subscribe but subscribe to her from my channel and ro you can yeah. talk to my people ah, it's a privilege yeah thank you thank you so much for having me yeah. you're really nice thank you for the gift thank that you, you sent yeah, yeah, yeah i made a special video wearing a bathrobe that somebody sent with my name and it was so beautiful i didn't know who sent it and we found her is her so thank you so much thank you for subscribe to her channel pleasure. also and it's been a pleasure to be here Thank you so much for even accepting the gift. You know, yeah. you don't just give gifts and people accept. If uh-huh. someone accepts for me, it's mm-hmm. humbling. Thank so you. I'm so grateful mm-hmm. and I'm so humbled. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much guys. Be blessed all of you and keep subscribing. Bye.